Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mihir Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn another sum based on unbalanced assignment. However, in this sum, they will be asking us to find the maximum value. So it is an unbalanced maximization problem sum under the assignment model chapter. From our video series, this is a problem sum number 11 that we are going to be solving. Okay, it will cover so till now it has covered up almost all the you know all the parts and all the types This is one of the new type which is yet pending. So this is what we are going to solve in this video So let us see how to solve an unbalanced assignment problem sum where they are asking us to find the maximize or uh, you know maximum value or maximization sum So let us see how the sum will be solved Okay, now let us see how to solve this question number 11 uh, of our video series the question reads out as five salesmen are to be assigned to four cities. So five salesmen, four cities. So it is already said it is an unbalanced problem sum. Find the optimal assignment to maximize the sales. So now it is a maximization problem, which is unbalanced. So whenever you get an unbalanced maximization problem sum, okay, this is how we need to solve it. Okay, so everyone uh, look at this video, or listen to this video very carefully, and along with that, even try to solve it. Okay. Uh, once you all get uh, in once you'll go through the entire video now The moment see if you look here there are five salesmen, but only four cities So first thing what we'll have to do is we'll have to balance it out. So my step number one will be we'll have to create a balance matrix Now in order to make the balance matrix, uh, we'll have to create a table which has again the details of our salesmen and cities so we have you know details of salesman and city and now we'll have to make it balance okay so first what we do we note down all those things which have been given to us so we have p q r s t so there are five salesmen a b c and d only four cities so we'll have to add one more city here in order to you know make it balance so we'll have a dummy city called as e so i'll just put an e dot that we come to know it's a dummy so first we note down all the details which have been given so it is 50 70 40 90 70 60 75 50 70 again 50 and next we have 80 85 100 60 70 40 55 75 70 and another 70 okay the moment we do that now as i told you we had to add one additional dummy row here because here the rows were less and the columns are more so the dummy row will have all the value equivalent to zero that is step number one so here we have now we have five rows and five columns so we have a balance matrix since it is a maximization sum our second step will be we'll have to find uh, we'll have to create basically a regret matrix a regret matrix means we'll have to make a regret table whereby we pick out the highest value from the entire table and minus uh, you know all other values from that particular highest value so let us first make the structure okay we'll try to you know make it a bit small because like this is some a lot of values are there in this okay okay chalo let us see how it so salesmen may we have p q r s and t and in cities we have a b c d and e now in order to get the matrix okay the regret matrix we have to first select the highest value which is available in the entire table so if you look carefully that there's only one three digit value which is 100 so 100 is the highest value so we'll have to minus 100 from all the values okay so 100 is mine so we'll, we'll have to go by you know 100 minus so 100 minus 50 gives you 50 100 minus 70 will give you 30 100 minus 40 gives you 60 okay next will be 10 and then we have 30 then 100 minus 60 is 40 next gives you 25 again 50 30 50 it will be next 20 15 100 minus 100 is 0 uh, 40 and 30 it gives you next as 60 40 
फाइव ट्वेंटी फाइव थर्टी एंड अनदर थर्टी एंड लास्टली हंड्रेड माइनस जीरो इज हंड्रेड सो इन ऑल द केसेज इट रिमेन्स हंड्रेड ओके सो विद दिस वी आर एबल टू क्रिएट आर रिग्रेट मेट्रिक्स नेक्स्ट स्टेप नाउ नाउ फ्रॉम यूर इट गोज इन अ नॉर्मल कन्वीनियंट स्टेप सो वी हैव नेक्स्ट वे विल हैव टू फाइंड द रो मिनिमाइजेशन okay again we'll have to create a similar structure where we have uh, the salesmen and the city so we'll mark it out we have the salesmen and we'll have the detail of our cities so salesmen may we have p q r s and t and here we'll have a b c d and e so now in row minimization again we'll have to pick out from each row the lowest value and minus that value from all other values in the entire row so in the first row the lowest value is 10 so it will be 10 minus everything so it will be 40 20 50 0 and 20 in the second row the lowest value is 25 so 40 minus 25 is 15 next will be 0 25 5 and 25 in third the lowest value is 0 so all the values remain as it is the next the lowest value is again 25 so we'll have 35 20 0 5 and 5 and last me 100 is the lowest value so we get all the values as 0 Once you are done with row minimization, our next step will be column minimization. Again, in order to find column minimization, we'll have to again create a similar structure where we'll have our salesmen and cities. so for our salesmen me again we will note down p q r s and t and here we'll have a b c d and e now column wise now this is column minimization from each column we'll have to take the lowest value and then minus that value with all other values in the first zero is the lowest value all the values will remain as it is because it doesn't change zero se In the second again zero is the lowest value. All other values will remain as it is. Third again zero is the lowest value. Again it remains as it is. In the fourth, uh, you know, column all the values are again you know zero is the lowest value. So all the values will remain as it is. In the next again zero is the lowest value. In the next column, so all other values remain as it is. Once you are done with column minimization, our next step will be we will have to assign the zeros. So let us do that. In the first row, there is only one zero, so we have assigned that. All other subsequent zeros will be crossed out. In the second row, again I can see there is one zero. We cross, uh, we assign it. All other subsequent zero will get crossed out. In the third, there is one zero. We mark that. All other will get crossed out. in the fourth there are two zeros so we can't do anything we go column wise in the first column there is one zero so we cross out second may all the zeros have been done third may done fourth and fifth may done so there's no more zeros pending okay so let us now count the assigned values here the assigned values is equal to 1 2 3 4 so it is 4 and the matrix size it was a 5 by 5 matrix where we had unbalanced so we made it balanced as 5 by 5 so your assigned values of four matrix as 5 therefore the solution is not optimal and the moment if it is not optimal we'll have to create a modified matrix okay now again modified matrix will have structures similar so we'll have again we'll have to create something called as you know the linings for a salesman 
and cities okay so here again we have our salesmen as p q r s t so v q r s and t and here we'll have a b c d and e okay now in order to get the values of the modified matrix we come back to our column minimization we pick out that row where there were zeros but they were not assigned so if you can see carefully in row d there were two zeros but they are none of them are assigned so from that zero we'll have to make you know we'll have to cross out lines or we'll have to cross out the entire columns okay this is my first column which is get crossed out this was my second column which is crossed out now row wise check which has multiple zeros we will be you know again crossing it out so the last has multiple zeros we cross that out and uh, the row b had one more zero so we crossed it out so all the zeros have been crossed out now very simple from the unmarked select the lowest value so from my unmarked the lowest value is apparently 5 so this 5 will get subtracted from all other unmarked values so let us do that one by one so 40 minus 5 will give you 35 all unmarked okay 20 minus 5 is 15 next 20 minus 5 is again 15 Next twenty, so twenty minus five is fifteen. Fifteen minus five is ten. Thirty-five minus five is thirty. Twenty minus five is fifteen. And last year, thirty minus five is twenty-five, and uh, five minus five becomes zero. That's step number one. Step number two, whatever was the lowest value, that value gets added to all the intersecting point. So this was intersecting twenty-five. So this twenty-five becomes thirty plus five. This five will again become plus five. That becomes ten. Uh, the other, these are the other two intersecting points. So zero zero will become five and five. Rest all the values remain as it is. So fifty remains as it is. Zero as it is. Again fifteen and zero as it is. This is twenty five as it is. Zero forty zero zero. Another zero and another two more zeros. so those values remain as it is so once our modified matrix is completed again let us start with the assigned the first uh, row has 1 0 we assigned it all of the subsequent zeros are crossed out the second has again 1 0 other all zeros are crossed out third has 1 0 we assign it all of the zeros crossed out fourth has a 0 all other get crossed out and fifth one again has a 0 so with that we check the assigned values So the assigned values are one, two, three, four, five. So we have five assigned value, and our matrix size is also equals to five. Therefore, the solution is optimal. And the moment the solution becomes optimal, okay, the moment it becomes optimal, we can finally say that. therefore the optimal assignment is for a it was s the value for which is 90 for b it is q which is 75 for c it was r which is 100 for d it is t which is 70 and for e it was p which is supposed to be in dummy which is 0 So the total of this, what we get will be a hundred and ninety, two hundred and sixty. We have seventy, eighteen, ninety, hundred, and one thirty-five. So that becomes to three hundred and thirty-five. Okay. Therefore, now since it was a maximization sum, therefore the total maximum sale is. Three hundred and thirty-five.
okay now in the exam they might give you in rupees or in lakhs or in thousands so it will you'll have to follow the answer in that order okay chalo so with that the sum based on maximization where we had an unbalanced problem sum comes to an end okay so whenever it is unbalanced we'll have to first make the balance since it is a it is a maximization sum we'll have to first make the regret table okay thereafter row minimization and column minimization try to assign if it doesn't get assigned properly we need to modify it again do the assignment if it is optimal enough then we can note down the final answer with that uh sum number 11 from our video series comes to an end it was a very important sum i hope everyone have understood it with that we will be ending this video here thank you